Hey friends, today I want to show you my spice cabinet. I want to show you what I use on a regular basis and some of my favorite special seasonings. So I thought, oh I have a lot going on in here. I want to share it with you today, so come along with me. I'm just going to go over what's in this Lazy Susan. Hold on. Um, I have a cup here. And I just made this. Oh, oh yeah, duh. This is what I put on top of my sweet potatoes. Uh, we just made some last week. And it's brown sugar and cinnamon mixed together so I can sprinkle on top of my sweet potatoes. So that's why I made a lot and I just kept it in this cup. Oh, Kimmy. Okay, so I have some baking soda and some baking powder. Um, this is some Southern Cajun with salt. I could have used this yesterday. I was looking for Cajun. <laughs> okay, so Derek bought this one um, at Giggy's in Salt Lake City. Um, this is what he uses when he smokes meats on the grill and stuff. So this is his. And I'm guessing that it's their special herb, like their... Okay. Um, this is vanilla extract that my dear friend Jana made for me. Um, you all might know her, some of you, cooking for my kids. She made this and sent it out to me, and I love this. And it's so great because you, because it's so strong, you can use half of what your recipe says. So I use this sparingly, but I love it. It tastes so good. Thank you, Jana. Love you. So that's hers. Um, I have some ghee, clarified organic butter. I have some nutmeg, just the Walmart brand. Um, a big thing of cornstarch. I use this. I don't have any more hot dogs. I use this to thicken up my soups, but mostly I use it for um, my sweet and sour chicken and uh, uh, clam chowder. And back here I have some ground nutmeg. This is McCormick, which everyone probably uses McCormick. Um, cinnamon sticks. And some prime rib rub from Traeger. Derek uses this um, when he cooks the prime rib in ribeye steaks. Um, we have some fine sea salt, some idolized salt, some coarse sea salt. He uses a lot of this with brining and things. So, um, this one's, I guess, a lot of my baking stuff with some scattered things in there. It's ground cinnamon, um, Costco's vanilla. Pure vanilla extract, which is supposed to be in my pantry, so I'll put that over there. Um, this is some ranch seasoning. I like to use this with chicken. I'll sprinkle it on chicken or use it in dressings, burgers, that kind of thing. And some um, chicken flavored bouillon. I like the powder versus the cubes. Um, so, yeah. Over on this side is more of my, like, like big guys. You know, the stuff that you can get at Costco. Okay, so I have some cooking spray. This is the um, pepper grinding thing from Costco. I get the big thing of the Lori's garlic salt. This is one of my go-tos right here. Um, this I will put on everything. I, and I mean that, like everything. It's so good. <clears throat> um, another go you're so silly. Another go-to is dried parsley flakes. I also got this from Costco, and it's from McCormick. Also from McCormick from Costco, I got basil. Yeah. <clears throat> also from McCormick, I got a Costco is taco seasoning. Um, it's really strong. I try to do with the recipe or the like the variation say for a packet, but some, I find it a little strong. 
This is awesome. This is Johnny's garlic spread. Who has tried this from Costco? So good. Okay, if you're gonna make garlic bread, um, take your room temperature butter, put some of this in there. They usually say like a tablespoon or so, but I usually say like go with your taste buds and then put that on your bread and then bake it. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, and you can also use it on fish and things and, and chicken and you could use that. So, oh, so good. Okay. Um, oregano. I'm almost out, so I'll make a note of that. This is just good old, <laughs> good old oregano. Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. That's a go-to for me as well. And here is some rib rub and seasoning. Um... This is awesome. There's no MSG. It's gluten free. Derek loves this um, when he goes and grills and smokes things. Oh my gosh. Yep. And then I got another um, beef bouillon. Just like the chicken, but it's beef. And pork and poultry. Derek got this for grilling as well. It goes on your pork and um, poultry. So here is some Mediterranean sea salt grinder from Costco. Uh, this is the last of the black pepper that we're using up. So this tray here spins just like this one does up here. Uh, I got this at Walmart. I swear it was just only a couple bucks. So I'm going to show you um, some of the seasonings on here. And I'm going to sh share with you what I use them for or on. So this is onion powder. Um, my goodness, I'll use this in anything with meat, um, hamburger a lot, this right here. Okay. Poultry seasoning, obviously used for chicken, turkey. Um, the majority of the time I buy this at Thanksgiving, but it's so good in your soups. Um, this is Accent, a flavor enhancer. I still don't understand the purpose of this other than that it calls for in my sweet and sour chicken recipe. That's mainly what I use it for. Other than that, I I have no idea what Accent does. Here's another beef bouillon. Okay, um, here's some ground mustard. I use this a lot in um, uh, my split pea soup. So there's that. Another thing of ground mustard. Okay, Derek loves Mrs. Dash, so he has purchased these. I have a lot of Mrs. Dash. Um, Oh my gosh, like, a lot. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said I had a lot. No, Holy cow. Bright. This is really bright. Okay. I've got more. Mrs. Dash. Oh, goodness. Okay. No joke. Derek loves Mrs. Dash. Let's see what we got. We have the original blend, um, just salt free. I can, I'll use this on chicken, veggies, a lot of veggies when I steam them, I'll use this one on. Okay. Oh, this is paprika. This isn't Mrs. Dash, but I use paprika. Okay, another Mrs. Dash is the chicken grilling blend. So good. Um, I kind of like this sprinkled a little bit over my corn on the cob. The flavor is just good. Okay, this is the Table Blends um, Mrs. Dash. And this seriously is good over vegetables. Saute up some zucchini, some squash, put some of this on there. And this is Garlic and Herb. I love this on my fish and chicken by Mrs. Dash. And this is Extra Spicy. Mrs. Dash Derek loves this one. You can put this on burgers, chicken. Um, I just put it last night on some Swahi fish. So good. And the lemon pepper, Mrs. Dash. I also love this on my veggies and my chicken. Okay, here's some ground sage. I use this a lot during the holidays, but for my soups, it calls for ground sage. So there's this. Um, here is some chicken rub that Derek uses on our chickens when he goes and smokes them on his Traeger. Um, this is really good on, like, if you buy a whole chicken and you want to go smoke it or even grill it, 
um, or bake it. This right here is so good on it. And this is from Traeger. I'm not sure where you can order it from. I think he goes to a specialty store up north for that. And of course, more in season salt. I use this in everything, honestly, everything. Yes. Dill, love my dill. Um, I have a really yummy dill recipe, and I'm wondering if I filmed it for you. If I did, I'll have a link for you right here. But I have a yummy recipe that you bake chicken in with like cream of mushroom soup, and you use a ton of dill. It is so good. But I use that in my deviled eggs. Um, oh my gosh, my potato salad um, on my fish. Crushed red pepper flakes, of course. Okay, I think that's all up here. Okay, down here I have my rosemary leaves. Um, love it in soups. I also will crush some on my potatoes if I'm skilling up some potatoes. Bay leaves for soups. It, um, I have tried soups with this and without it. And for some reason, I don't understand what the seasoning does or, or what, but it's, it definitely makes a soup. It really does. Okay, um... My Herbs de Provence, I started using this about a year ago with my friend Tiffany. Um, it, it's called for her, um, remember the chicken orzo soup? The, it calls for it in there and it, this makes the soup. So add this to any chicken or turkey soup that you have and it, uh, yeah, holy cow, so good. So thank you Tiffany um, for letting me know about it. But you, could, you it says you could coat it on chicken, fish, beef, lamb, veal, or vegetables. And I have. I have put this on my vegetables lately, and I'm loving it. So it's Herbs de Provence. And it sounds super fancy. <laughs> okay, I have tarragon. Oh my gosh, look, I'm almost out. I need to go buy more. I love tarragon. Love it. I found this when I first started cooking. I love the smell of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really put this on fish. I put this on um, like home fries or potato skillets, you know, when you, in the morning when you make your potatoes chopped up, you know. This is so good on potatoes, but I really love it on my vegetables. Oh my gosh, I just love what tarragon does to the flavor of things. So it's actually one of my top favorite seasonings. Yes, for sure. Okay, this is one of Derek's grill mates. Um, Montreal steak seasoning, so he'll put this on our steak along with the um, mesquite kind. And this is a new one, summer savory. I got this for, I, I believe it was the cucumber salad recipe that I did last summer. Um, this is so good. Um, I wonder if it says the type of... Um, used to add... Fresh garden, fresh flavor to hearty lentil, bean, and dried pea dishes. Used to brighten up the flavor of omelets, pasta, chowders, top poached fish or chicken with blend of summer savory spice islands. Snipped chives, lemon, and mayonnaise. So it is really good. It kind of reminds me of celery, but with more in it. And this I love on my potatoes as well. Especially if you make a baked potato, put some of this on it with your sour cream, melt it into the butter. Um... But I love it on my fish, and I put it on our Swahi fish last night. So good. Um, this is cayenne pepper. Hot. Um, garlic powder. I put this in my meatballs. Um, Salisbury steak, things like that. Gotta love garlic powder. Um, this is chipotle chili pepper. A lot of these hot spices Derek uses. I'll use them if it calls for a recipe. Here's another grill mate, uh, Montreal chicken. Um, he likes these, but he really likes the Mrs. Dash better. So, because we're not going through the grill mates as much. Um, this is Bon Appetit season salt. This reminds me of celery, um, big time. Um, a warm celery note. It's the perfect complement to poultry and salads. Really good. Um, I can't remember what, um, I believe it was a summer salad that I made last year or the year before. It smells so good though. I also love this on potatoes as well. Um, anise seed. Now, there's only one thing that I use aniseed for, and it is homemade pasta sauce, or sometimes if I make my own 
pizza sauce. I'll throw this in there. Derek's uncle, Rudy, uses this in his pizza sauce, and I swear it's what makes it so good. So I've tried making it without it. Mm -mm. For some reason, the aniseed in that pizza sauce is so good. I don't measure if I add it to a sauce or a pizza sauce. I just, I'll just put like a little, probably about, I don't know if you can see that. Probably about that much, like an eighth of a teaspoon maybe, or a fourth. And I'll just grind it up in my hand, like rub it together, and then throw it um, in my sauce. But that's what I use it for. I've never used it for anything else. But anise is like that kind of like black licorice type of flavor and smell, um, which is not my favorite, but it brings back childhood memories for me. And so, um, but yes, I love this in pizza sauce. I think it's the secret ingredient. Um, this is also one of Derek's Traeger chicken rubs. And cumin, we, I use this a lot in soups. Uh, chili powder and ground cinnamon. Um, this is another Grillmates Monterey steak. So I think we got two of those. I could probably get rid of those. Okay, let's go back here. What do we got in here? We've got um, some of Derek's roasted garlic and chipotle blend, a dry rub that he used um, when doing his Traeger. And we just got some random things like white peppercorns and some shakers back here. There's not much to see. Okay, let's go over what's in this guy. This is like all those little bottle seasonings. Um, this right here is taco seasoning. Um, no, it's fajita seasoning. Remember when I did the fajitas and I made this one time? If I could find it, I'll link it. Um, and some of you tried it and you liked it too. It was a pin I did. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, we have some ground sage. Um, ground white pepper. I don't use this often, and I don't know what you use a lot of it on. Maybe you guys can tell me what you use it on. I had one recipe that called for it, and that's why I have it. Um, ground allspice. This is something I use more around the holiday season. Um, some curry powder. This is some whole cloves. That, I'll stick this in hands and, and things, but that, that's used more around the holiday season as well. Cumin seed. Smoked paprika. I had a recipe that called for smoked. Uh, more poultry seasoning. But I don't think you can have too much of poultry seasoning because come Thanksgiving, you're fighting for it in the store, let me tell you. Thyme, oh my gosh. Along with tarragon, this is one of my go-to ones as well. Um, I love it, again, when you roast up potatoes or fish. I mean, I, I just love the seasoning. It's so good. Oh, sesame seed. Um, cream of tartar. I don't use that a whole lot, mostly in baking. And turmeric. And I believe my friend in my ward, Emily, gave me this. I went to go pick up something or drop something off at her house. And I was like, yeah, i got to go to Walmart for turmeric. She's like, I have it. I don't use it. <laughs> so she gave me turmeric. Okay, and then um, powdered alum. I have no idea. It must have been for a recipe. Do you guys use this? Do you know what it's for? Can you tell me anything about it? It's a colorless, odorless crystalline powder is used for dyeing fabrics. So, and that is everything that I use, guys, um, and what I have in here. So what I would love to know is what are your go-to spices? Um, what do you use a lot? But my biggest thing is, is experiment because you'll be surprised what you like. Like, I would never have figured to go pick up Bon Appetit or Herbes de Provence, and I'm so glad I was introduced to it because it's... I've been using it other than soups and things and putting it on other things and it's just been yummy. I think the biggest thing to try out spices with is with chicken and fish and potatoes. Um, and then you can just see if you like them and things and just give it a try. Um, and sometimes some seasonings 
Some seasonings that are on the salty end don't use too much of, but if they're not a salty type of herb or seasoning, don't go light on it. Like really put it on the chicken or fish and so you could really taste it and see if it's something that you like. And then your you know, your taste buds, your, your sight of smell, your your smell senses and your taste senses are your biggest trigger for memories. So when you taste one of the seasonings, you might go, oh my goodness, this could be really good with that one recipe I have, or this dish, or, or oh, this would be really good on pork, or something like that. So um, I'm not too afraid to try seasonings anymore. When I first got married and first started learning how to cook, I was really scared to try seasonings. It took me years before I started using garlic in everything. I mince garlic in everything now. And it took me many years to um, to get brave and try garlic and things. And now I can't even like imagine cooking without garlic. It's like I have a big bag of it in the pantry from Costco. Like I can't even imagine, you know. Uh, so just go for it. Like if you're new to seasonings, go for it. Um, like my dad. My dad is just like salt and pepper. And... I'm always like, Mom, try this, and she's afraid to use it because, oh, I don't know if Dad will like it, type of thing. So when my parents came out here, I made home fries like my dad does. Um, that's like chopped up potatoes, like you use for breakfast, hash browns type thing. And I made them just like he did, but I added the seasonings that I love in it, like my tarragon, my thyme, um, a couple of other seasonings, and garlic, and I threw it all in there, and I gave, served it to him, and he really liked it. And I'm like, see, Dad, you know, it, so I don't know if he's sensitive, I have no idea, but he liked it, and so get brave with seasonings. You, you'll discover something that you love. So now it's like, this cabinet can get fuller than this, and I, I have a lot, but next home I might need a bigger cabinet. I don't know. <laughs> I might need to get another cabinet for my seasoning. So now I really love trying a new seasoning. But if you see anything in here that I said that I don't use much, tell me what you use it in or give me a suggestion. I would love to try it. So I don't know. I hope you guys liked this video, but I thought I would just show you some of my spices. So I hope you guys are doing good. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Good day.